everyone, it's Sarah from PinkCricut.com and today we have a fun little project for you involving chocolate. So we're going to be using the Hershey's um, Nuggets, which come in a gold wrapper, and we're also going to be using the Pink by Design It's a Wrap 2 stamp set. And this stamp set, what it does is it allows you to stamp on paper and decorate your candy bars. So I've done a couple already, so I'll just show you those quick. You can also get the coordinating die with this stamp set, which is kind of nice. So that's what they look like once they're decorated. All right, and the dies that coordinate, there's a set of three. There's one that's got small scallops, and then you kind of have a bigger scallop, and then you have just a straight edge one. Okay, so you use this in your die cutter. I used it in my Vagabond, and I just slid it through a couple times and had enough to decorate all of the chocolates I need for this project. So then I stamped this one with a chevron, and this one with polka dots, and this one with chevrons, and then I just filled in little sentiments that come on the stamp set. This one says, wow, you're awesome, this one says hi, and this one says wish big. Okay, so we're gonna do three more of these little candies to go in a little cellophane bag. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these back in here now before I forget. We're gonna have six total chocolates, okay? Because who doesn't like having enough chocolate? Six is probably still not enough for some people. For me, sometimes, I need more than six chocolates. Okay, so we're gonna put those to the side and then we're gonna go ahead and, since I've already die cut all of the candy bar wrappers, we're gonna put those to the side. I have two more stamped and then I was gonna show you this one. Okay, so this one we're stamping in pink, which is actually close to my heart bubble gum. Oh, nope, watermelon. And I wanted to show you how this works. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna stamp right down on the piece that I die cut. And then after that, I'm going to find little cute sentiments for the centers of these, okay? So let's see what sentiments we want to use or phrases we want to use. This is just for a general gift. So I'm just gonna use sentiments like, what's up? Because I really, it's not for a birthday or anything. It's just for a friend, okay? So there's that one. But I want them to say different things, and there's tons of sentiments on this set, so it should be easy. And if it's for a, if you're making it for a project for like a holiday or a birthday or something, there's those also. Happy autumn, things like that. Um, hang in there. So I am, like I said, I'm just gonna use basic ones. This one says, hi friend. Plus I love these little sentiments because they fit everywhere. Okay, and then there's thanks teacher on here, but we're not gonna use that one. What other one do I wanna use? How about just yay? I feel like you can say yay anytime you want. They don't have to have accomplished something humongous, right? They could just say yay. Oh, I kind of want this one to be yellow. I stamped it the wrong color. Let me wipe that ink off. I inked it in pink and I want to do it in yellow. Okay. Changed my mind. All right. So now that those are all stamped, I can just wrap them around my little candy bars. And I, you can use adhesive, a different kind of adhesive to put these on. I just think it's quicker to use a piece of tape, but that's just me. I know some people who have this set, because it's a pretty popular set, they just use like ATG on the back of a candy bar or something. But for me, I, uh, I just think it's quicker just to use a tiny little piece of tape. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay. The other inks I used for this, both close to my heart, the one is honey and the other one is juniper. Juniper and honey, two of my favorite close to my heart ink colors actually. All right. Now that we have that, we're gonna put these in our little bag. I love the polka dots and the chevrons. They're just trendy, trendy, trendy. Okay. All right, now that we have that, we're gonna go ahead and fold this down because we're not gonna use this whole huge piece, okay? And this actually has a piece of self sticky stuff on it. The bags that I'm using are four by six and they are by, who is this by? 
crystal clear plastic bags. I guess it's not really by impact clear bags. So you can order them from clear bags. I got them from my scrapbooking store. Okay, they're good about carrying stuff like that. All right, then after that is sealed up, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to um, have something to decorate. So I cut this at five by nine, and then I scored at six. All right, and I'm going to have this just set right on top of it. Okay, just like that. And then we'll staple it. Actually, I'm going to staple it now so that I can um, put my pattern paper on top. I didn't grab my stapler before I started. I'm still rusty. I don't know what's happened to me. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to staple this just on the side. I'm going to staple it kind of far in because I want to cover it. <laughs> There's no staples. All right. Okay. Ah, I told you, rusty, rusty. Okay. Um. <sighs> So I'm going to staple it far in because I want the pattern paper to cover it up. Okay. So I'm going to staple that in place. Then we're going to grab our pattern paper. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put that on. Top of here. And I love using craft card stock. Did you know when I very first started crafting, I didn't even know what craft card stock was. I was my my maiden name is Kraft K R A F T. So when someone told me to use Kraft cardstock, I was just like, "What? What is Kraft cardstock? Can you believe it? I had no clue." So now I know, and I have a I have a favorite. I only like to use Basil Kraft cardstock because it's my favorite. It's lighter than some of the other ones, and it's not as like grainy. Okay, we're gonna grab some ribbon. This ribbon is from American Crafts. And I just grabbed yellow. And this came in a Dear Lizzie set, I believe. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this, and then we're just gonna add a tag to this for the gift, okay? And my fingers are already inky tonight. Okay, so I'm just going, it's not gonna be anything fancy. I'm not even gonna tie a, a bow, actually. I'm just gonna tie a little pretty knot. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a tag. And I've punched out a cloud, and we're going to just put a sentiment on there and then punch a hole in it. So the sentiment I'm going to use for this, after I put this other one away, is actually from Pink by Design has these new half pint sets. They're smaller, and they have less sentiments on them, but they're really, really cute. And this one is actually called Blog Love. And it has all kinds of like sentiments that you could use for your bloggy friends. Not necessarily though. Like in the one we're going to be using is enjoy this random act of kindness. But there's other ones that say like you really made my day. Thank you for the blog you love. Hugs from your internet friend, which I love that one. Okay, but we're going to say enjoy this. Okay, because it's King and D. They better enjoy it. Okay. Didn't let go. Okay, and then we're gonna punch a hole in that, and then we're gonna stick some twine through it. So I'm just gonna use my little crappa dial to punch my hole. I just wanted to kind of, yeah, let's hang it from the top of the cloud. Okay, just like that. And then we'll use some craft color twine. And we won't need much because we're just gonna tie it basically in a knot. Oh, maybe we'll do a bow. We'll see what I feel like once we get up here. <sighs> I feel like I'm moving all over the place for you guys. Yeah, I'm gonna do a bow. I can't stop myself. I like bows. I like big bows and I cannot lie. I saw onesie that said that. Too funny. Okay. I know, I talk about onesies a lot. <laughs> I did a onesie in yesterday's project. All right, let me just tighten my little bow. I guess there's just lots of people having babies right now. So I just think about bows. I mean, I think about onesies a lot. Okay, that's it. 
So that is our little project. Enjoy this random act of kindness. And you have six little candy bars that say uplifting things. And oh, I forgot to tell you that this paper is Echo Park and it's everyday eclectic. One of my favorite lines. So pretty. And I didn't even want to cut it up for this project actually. <laughs> so that's it. Um, hopefully you guys make one of these yourself. And if you need to get the stamps or the dies, they are pinkbydesignstore.com. Thanks guys.